right, so it looks like Jimmy Dore has put out a video going after Bernie Sanders and the reason why he is going after <clears throat> Bernie Sanders. And actually, for the most part of this video from his live show that he posted on his channel, he's not even really going after Bernie. He's going after Walid Shahid, who is a Democratic strategist for the Justice Democrats, a senior Democratic strategist for the Justice Democrats, is who he seems to... Uh, really have his crosshairs on in this video. Now, this is going to be more of the same old, same old conversation. And I definitely agree, and Jimmy's going to bring this up uh, in a second here, actually, and I'm definitely going to agree with him, that it's far too early to be saying these kinds of things. Um, especially coming from Waleed, it doesn't really make any sense. Because, and you know, I've said this about David Pakman already, trying to be like, oh, no, 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 you know, I'm not really trying to go after Joe Biden too much, you know, just remember, anytime he does a video of Joe Biden, he always says, well, remember, you know, Hillary and Trump aren't the same, and so Biden and Trump aren't the same either. Uh, what's crazy about Joe Biden is he's actually more right-wing than Hillary Clinton, which is crazy. It's unbelievable. So, Jimmy Dore, we're going to watch some of these clips, and we'll jump in uh, from time to time. Here we go. Pledging your support to the cause of Donald Trump is horrible strategy and another reason why we got Donald Trump. So, while each Shahid says, no question, I'll vote for Joe Biden, and that's true of almost everyone I know, well, now you know me, Waleed, and you know a room full of progressives who aren't gonna fucking vote for Joe Biden, right? So this is 450 people in the middle of Phoenix, Arizona, a red state, who are saying, we're not gonna do that shit. And you know what? If you're going to say something like this, Waleed, maybe you say this on November 5th instead of two years ahead of the fucking election. Maybe on November 5th you go, hey, I'm going to get drunk and go vote for Joe Biden. Maybe that's what... What do you get out of saying this two years ahead of time? We haven't even had... Hey, superdelegates. Don't worry. Hey, DNC. Hey, superdelegates. Don't worry. Yeah, so uh, Jimmy's actually right there. He's actually correct. I don't agree uh, with Waleed or anybody else. Bernie, I could understand it coming from because he's got an election to run, and that's a question that's going to come up, and it's going to be uh, a pretty big criteria for a lot of uh, Democratic voters. And so I can understand it coming from the burn. I don't really get why it's coming from Waleed. Uh, and I also agree that we shouldn't be having this conversation right now um, and so him responding here, I see that now. I had just done a video not long ago, like a few days ago, not a few days ago, like a week ago about where uh, Jimmy Dore or Ron Placone and David Dole had actually gotten into a pretty heated argument about this. And so I don't know if David brought it up first or what, but I would say that Jimmy is taking part in uh, sort of starting these conversations as much as anyone else is. Um, and so I think he's kind of doing the same thing here. Um, but I certainly 100% uh, agree with the point, which is that it's far too early to be speaking about this because we have a primary to run. We're like a little less than a year basically away from the first primary votes being cast in Iowa, um, which I believe is in February, if I'm not mistaken, February of 2020. So, uh, you know, we're we're pretty like you know decent ways away from that and so there therefore we should not be talking about this we should be deciding who the best candidate is who's bernie sanders uh we should not be you know saying oh what do we do in this situation so uh mike Ravel says if democrats nominate joe biden he may win and we'll have four years of weak, feckless Democratic leadership. And then in four years, he'll be defeated by a Republican Party, even more openly white nationalist. If you nominate an Obama redux, you'll get a worse Trump redux. So, um, so that comment has nothing to do with whether or not in a situation. Uh, and I'm sure Mike Gravel probably agrees with Jimmy Dore, I'm pretty sure. But the comment that's stated right there, I don't even know if that's from Gravel or if that's from one of the uh, the teens who work on the campaign. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, 
that has nothing to do with the general election situation. All that's saying is, hey guys, we shouldn't nominate Joe Biden as our Democratic nominee for these reasons, and those reasons are 100% on point. But I don't understand what that has to do with being in a general election situation and having to decide whether or not to vote for Joe Biden. Now, I'm not voting for Joe Biden under any circumstances either, but that's because I live in California and my vote doesn't mean jack. But, and so if you're in a state, California or New York, or a very, very solid red state, you have to be careful about which states you're looking at. Because remember, those Rust Belt states that fell for Donald Trump, those were the blue wall states. Those were blue wall states. And so you've got to be increasingly careful as to the actual uh, state that you're in. You have to be careful to make sure that it's actually not a swing state and that it's actually solid blue or red. So I'm in Cali. I'm If Joe Biden is a nominee, I ain't voting for him. I'll vote third party. I'll probably go green or something like that. Um, so... You know, I, I'm not going Joe Biden under any circumstances either, but Jimmy Dore is basically what he's saying is, is no matter what state you're in, don't vote for Joe Biden. That's what he's trying to say, basically, uh, which I wholeheartedly disagree with. I think if you're in a swing state, and again, you have to be increasingly careful as to which state is determined as an actual swing state or not, because if you recall during the 2016 election, the Rust Belt that fell hard for Trump, those were considered blue wall states for the Democrats. So you have to be careful um, about that. So this this tweet from Mike Gravel has nothing to do with which way to vote in a uh, general, but in the way to vote in the primary and to who to nominate. So I don't even get how this works in your favor. If anything, this kind of points out the the dumb the dumb dumb uh, levels in your idea you're in your idea because why would you um, Instead of getting a Trump redux, all you would get is four more years of Donald Trump. So I don't understand how that helps uh, your situation. I don't get it. Like, the being able to, you know, just sit idly by, sit on your vote, and just be uh, supporting, uh, or just allowing Donald Trump to win, because that's the goal of Jimmy Dore. He wants to, you know, basically make it so that, I don't know, the Democratic Party comes to him or something like that. Um, but that is like the ultimate privilege I have ever seen in my entire life. Seriously, it really is because I've never seen a privilege so big to where it's crazy how much crap Donald Trump is doing like on a daily basis. He just, he just, he just pardoned one of his buddies who wrote a book about him. And when he was at the rally and he made that statement about refugees and then laughed and the crowd laughed, you know, Jimmy didn't have to worry about that. You know, he's not a refugee. He's not brown. He's not any of that. You know, he's, he's chilling. He's a a white dude is a business owner. He's chilling. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have to worry about all of the ills that are faced by society because of Donald Trump. And uh, it's the biggest privilege that I've ever seen in my entire life. Seriously, it really is. Um, it really is the biggest uh, privilege that I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, we compromised our way in real to get more shit. Kevin Smith says, it's not like I ever aspired to be a radical, but if you have kids and grandkids and you're paying attention, then you have to realize that we don't have time for gradual change by compromise. We compromised our way into an existential, cri existential crisis. We need progressive change now! So, and then he goes on saying, you know, in hot times of this stuff. And I appreciate the emotion, you know what I'm saying? It's cool to be very fiery and really have the passion and everything. And I really appreciate that. But uh, the problem with this, with this point is, and this is, I think, the fundamental error in the Jimmy Dore ideology, is that the main grievance that Jimmy Dore has and the main problem Jimmy Dore has with what he determines of going through the Democratic Party is that basically... The change is just too slow, man. We're not getting enough change, you know. The Democratic Party is not listening to us. The Democratic Party is not uh, doing enough. They're not allowing us to really be progressive and everything. And the change is just too slow. They're too centrist, right? Or, or they're just not left enough. They're not progressive enough. Um, but the, pro the fundamental issue with this statement is, right, his idea is to go third party, okay, to go form a new party. 
the problem with this is, as you guys know, due to all the institutional biases that exist, uh, where, you know, we don't have ranked choice voting, they don't, the Green Party doesn't have ballot access, he doesn't even, uh, in all 50 states, I think they have in like 46 or something like that, um, he doesn't even want to go the Green Party route, he actually wants to start a whole new party, a whole new party that he thinks, which Tulsi Gabbard doesn't even support, by the way, which I find funny that he still supports her anyways, but, uh, you know, the, the question here being that, or the point, sorry, the point here being that if we were to go that route, the change would be so insanely slow, we'd actually never get anything done because it is so ridiculously difficult to go that route that it's, it's just inefficient and it would get less change done than going through the Democratic, going through the Democratic primary and going through the Democratic party. Um, and you know, this was, this was part of the Justice Democrats' decision-making. Kyle Kalinske talks about it all the time. He talked about how, you know, we looked at it and, you know, it, it was just impossible to actually go a third party route because it just simply would not be successful. And we, I think the analogy he used was basically like, it's like getting ready for a marathon and then grabbing like a, you know, a hammer and then like hitting your leg and breaking your own leg right before a marathon. It's just, you're like basically, you know, screwing yourself over before, right before it starts, uh, which is totally true and accurate. And, um, so the fundamental issue with the idea of Jimmy Dore here that, you know, we're just not getting enough change done. We need change now. So let's go and form a new party. But the problem with that is, is that the change that you think you would get done, you would get no change and you would, it would take an insane amount of time for you to get your anything, not even like the change. Like it would take an insane amount of time. Remember the Green Party has had no, uh, it's had no federal congressional members or anything. Uh, I think they've had like very, very few state and, uh, and, uh, local, you know, representatives, but it's just so difficult in the United States. So I don't know what Jimmy Dore's plan is. And this is the problem when it comes to Jimmy Dore is not really a very smart guy. I think he, as you guys can see here, he's just really, he's mostly emotion. And so he doesn't seem to think very much. Because it's very obvious to see the faults in his logic. And again, you're in a really privileged position when you can just chill out and be like, yeah, you know, it's okay if Trump wins. Like, imagine being able to say that and think that's like, wow, wowzers, dude, that's pretty insane. But um, there just simply isn't much thought going on there. And so he just kind of gets fiery and is talking about how we need change now, but doesn't realize that in the system we have right now, unless you want to just completely like, I don't know, admonish the system of some sort and have some like revolution of some sort of, you know, communist revolution or something like that. I don't know what you want to do, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think we should be talking about this right now either. I definitely agree with that point. And I'm in California, so I'm not voting for Biden under any circumstances, but, uh, you know, would a Biden presidency be better than a Donald Trump presidency? Yes. Uh, is Joe Biden even further right wing than Hillary Clinton? Yes. So, you know, there are some issues, but I think fundamentally, you know, this kind of over and over thing that Jimmy Dore is doing is, 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 is just kind of, kind of, uh, I don't know. I'm not with it. 